Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to get perfect bed adhesion on your Silhouette Ulta or your Silhouette Ulta Plus by using this removable build surface. I've tried using the Overture sticker on there, but on some of my prints, it would get stuck so hard. I was having to dig, as you can see, to get my prints off and then the bottoms of my next prints would have those marks in it. So I found that using these removable magnet sheets would work. This is from the Creality brand removable build plates. It comes when you order it. it comes with this removable flexible textured sheet and it comes with this 3M magnetic sheet. So if you have a Creality Ender series or CR series, you can always take what the, is on there and use it. Um, but then you would have to order you a magnet sheet, the 3M magnet sheet. So I just went ahead and ordered a, a set. Um, and this is from the Ender 3. Ender 3 Pro, and you can get two of these build surfaces out of the Ender 3. But if you get the CR10 or CR10S series build surfaces, you can get four. So what I did was you take your Ulta build surface, your build plate, you place it on one sheet you can do the magnet part or the build surface part first it doesn't matter which one so you just take it place your ulta build plate on there and draw your line or you can just use your exacto very carefully and cut it you just want to be careful that when you're doing that you don't nick and gouge your uh, acrylic build plate for your Alta, so I suggest just draw a line on it and then just go back through and cut it with some good scissors or if you're really good at staying straight, cut it with your uh, X-Acto or craft knife. And then you do the same with the other sheet. But on your build surface, this textured top piece, you want to make sure you leave that little notch sticking out right there. And make sure that when you're cutting these, you leave that notch from your build plate as well. You want to keep that notch because that's going to help you to reline everything back up to make sure your, your build plate's back on there aligned. And it doesn't give you any problems with placing it into your Ulta. And this notch is to help you to easily just reach in and grab that build surface right off. You can place that notch anywhere you want, except for your front edge. You do not want it on this very front edge because that's where your nozzle has to come out and extrude that first section of filament when it starts printing. Because it'll come out, it'll extrude, and then it'll go over and drag back. So you don't want to interfere with that. So you can, if you're left-handed, put it on the left. If you're right-handed, put it on the right. Okay, so once you have both pieces cut, clean your acrylic build, build plate with some alcohol wipes. I happen to have these because my husband's diabetic, so I have these on hand, so I'll just use these. If not, just get you some regular uh, rubbing alcohol that you probably have lying around your house and a paper towel and just wipe your acrylic blank down really good so there's no oils no dust no residue of anything on there then you take the 3m magnetic sheet that you've cut and you place it down on here make sure you don't get any bubbles when you're placing so start at one side and slowly apply it just like you would those little tape pieces that come with your Ulta machine when you first get it then once that's done, take another alcohol wipe or a little bit of alcohol and paper towel 
and clean this really good to make sure you've got all your fingerprints and oils and stuff off of this. Then this, your build surface, your removable flexible build surface, clean the back of it with some alcohol. Once both pieces are dry, then just line up your little notches and put it on there. Okay, then go back over with a fresh clean uh, paper towel with alcohol or an alcohol wipe and scrub this down to make sure you have no dust or oils because the oils in your hand will affect how well your magnetic pieces will adhere plus how well your filament will adhere to your build surface. So you want it completely clean, no dust, no oils, no nothing on there. Then you take it and you place it into your Alta. Just line that back notch up and it snaps down into place. Just like that. See, no interference. You don't want any overhang or anything on this front edge of this new build surface. So that way you can still extrude that first section of filament down into that little hole. Then, once this is done, you're going to have to recalibrate your nozzle. So, before you recalibrate, make sure you lift these up because you've just added height to this from what you did have it. And you don't want that nozzle, when you start to try to calibrate, to go down and just dig into this and mess up that nozzle. So, tighten these and raise these up. Okay, so that way you're starting with a fresh go around of calibrating and then you start your regular calibrating uh, process so because you have this on here and I know a lot of people have had calibration issues with being able to get it to calibrate right what you want is when that nozzle is down and it's on a piece of paper you want a light scratching sound like just if you take your finger and scratch it your fingernail on this build surface you hear a light scratching sound that's what you want and you want it to be very smooth moving that paper back and forth to where you feel a little bit of scratching not a whole lot because you don't want to put pressure on that because that's when you get clogs if that nozzle is pushing down too hard on this and trying to extrude you'll start getting clogs and you don't want that so you want it where it just scratches that paper just a little bit so you know you've got very close you're going to get perfect squish and you're going to get perfect bottom layers laying down you shouldn't have clogging you shouldn't have bed adhesions anymore and once your print's finished you just pop this off bring it out bend and your prints will pop right off just put it back in there and you're good to go again if you have any questions or any comments or have any other better ideas on how you've made this also give you better prints, please post them in the comments below. Thank you.